the different parts of a flower are known as whorls the first outermost whorl is known as the calyx this is the calyx the second whorl is known as the corolla this is the corolla the third whorl of a flower is known as androecium which is the male part of the flower <coughs> this is the androecium and finally the innermost whorl is known as gynecium which is the female part of the flower this is the gynecium so there are four whorls of a flower calyx corolla androecium and gynecium now look at this flower see it has all the whorls it has calyx corolla androecium and gynecium since it has all the four whorls it is known as a complete flower now notice these flowers can you spot the difference between all these flowers look at the first flower what do you think is missing it does not have an androecium see the androecium is missing similarly in the second flower the gynecium is missing in the third flower the corolla is missing and in the fourth yes the calyx is missing so if a flower does not have one or more than one part it is known as an incomplete flower see this flower is known as the china rose this flower is known as a lily now see it has all the parts it has calyx it has a corolla this is an androecium this is the gynecium the androecium and gynecium remains fused in the china rose but all four whorls are present now let us see lily see the sepals have taken a white color and they seem just like the petals these are the sepals so sepals are present these are the petals petals are present the androecium is present as well as this gynecium is also present so both these flowers are complete flowers because it consists of all the four whorls now notice these two flowers both of them are cactus flowers but if you closely look at this flower you will see that the gynecium is missing from this flower and if you see this flower you will see that the androecium is missing now if you see a papaya flower both of these are papaya flowers but this flower it misses or it does not contain the gynecium and this flower does not contain the androecium so both these flowers either lack androecium or they lack the gynecium since one part or an important whorl of a flower is missing it is known as an incomplete flower now is it possible for a flower 
to stay alive or to reproduce if there is no androecium or no gynoecium? Well, no, it is not possible because these are the main reproductive parts of the plant. Without these parts, reproduction is not possible and hence androecium and gynoecium is known as the essential parts of a flower. But the flower can survive without the corolla and the calyx. This is because their main function is to provide protection and to add vibrancy and brightness to the flower. Even without them, reproduction can still take place in the flower and so these two worlds, the calyx and the corolla are known as the non-essential parts of the flower. Flowers can have a different orientation on the main axis. Look at this plant. This is a chestnut plant and you see all these flowers have made a bunch and they are oriented at the opposite direction. See, this is the main axis of the plant and all these red dots that you see are the flowers. So the flowers are in bunches and they are at opposite orientations to each other. See, this is at an opposite orientation to this. This one is at an opposite orientation to this. Now, if you notice a cow parsnip plant, you will see that the flowers are all bundled together and they are, or they are all bunched together from a single point in the main axis. See, this is the main axis and all the flowers have originated from this single point. So, the different orientations of a flower on the main axis is known as inflorescence. 